traders and welcome back to the channel. Forex day trading strategy, the professional approach. Forex is a global marketplace for foreign national exchange from one currency into another for a variety of reasons. Forex trading is the largest and most liquid asset markets in the world. A 24 hour Forex offers a considerable advantage and opportunity to trade at any convenient time. There are times when the market is consistently volatile and period when it is mute with low volatility. For this reason, traders need to be aware of the time and days of the market volatility and decide when it is best to trade in order to have maximum profit and minimize the risk. I'm also going to show you how different time frame indicators like RSI and news can have a great impact on your forex trading. In general, we have three forex sessions. The first one is Asian forex session like Sydney or Tokyo. The second one is European forex session such as London. And finally, the last one is North American Forex session like New York. What time did three sessions open and close? It is important that traders know what time these markets open and close. This chart show you the open and close of each session based on local time, Eastern time, and universal time coordinate. It is worthwhile to mention that prior to 1972, this was referred to as Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. For example, if you look at this chart, London opened at 8 a.m close at 5 p.m. local time, open at 2 a.m., close at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and open at 7 a.m. and close at 4 p.m. universal time coordinate. So it is important traders know this chart in order to get into that, into the Forex market at the proper convenient time. What is the best day of the week to trade Forex? If you look at this day chart prepared by Baby Pips, in this chart, you see all currency pair in this column and also all days of the week. You see in this row, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If you look at each currency pair across horizontally, like this, horizontally, you see the volatility is greater during Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So the best day to trade is these three days that the volatility is high. I presume most people use Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to enjoy with the family or other affair and trade during Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So it is wisely to trade in these three days for better profit. What are the best hours to trade Forex? In this chart, we have three sessions, Asian, London, and New York. And the three session, the time of this three session is based on Greenwich Mean Time. So the Asian overlap with London, and this is the overlap area. London and New York overlap, and this is the overlap area. 
So the this one is a histogram that shows the volatility. You see when the Asian market opens, the volatility is low and is picking up and is going to be high when the London opens and overlap with Asia. So you see the volatility, it picks up and it, it picks up considerably and slow by slow, it's, it's going down until the New York open and overlap with London. So the volatility picks up very high and it become the highest here. And as at the end of the overlap between London and New York, the volatility it come down. And when the New York market, the, the London market closes, you see the volatility it come down and become quiet. So you see the best trading time is when the London market opens and also when the London market closes. You see we have the highest volatility between open and close of the London market. So this chart is very important for forex traders to choose the best hour to trade. How multiple time frame can improve your forex trading? Let's assume the market is trending nicely in a daily time frame and the trend is going upward like this. So the overall direction of the trend is upward in a daily time frame. Some traders they enter the market when the price is going up around this area or or in a long leg of the trend. This is they call long leg of the trend. This is they call shorter leg of the trend. Now, if you enter the trade around this area, it's all right because you are entering the trade in the direction of the trend. But if you are in a retracement move right around here and you want to go long because the direction of the trend is upward, it's wrong because you are doing forex trading not position trading. Let's assume you are here and you want to go long because the direction of the trend is upward. It is wrong. The best thing is you go to shorter time frame, one is the blower and look for shorting our opportunity instead of going long or you wait until the retracement move finish and as soon as the trend is heading upward you can enter the trade so you see multiple time frame can increase your winning rate and i'm going to show you a real example in order to clarify this method this is the price trend, New Zealand USD currency pair, H1 time frame, your finance. The price is originally going upward and it's trending nicely going up all the way. Now, let's assume that you are right now here and you decided to go long because you are trading in the direction of the trend but it's wrong because you are trading forex not position trading what you should do is since the big picture is going up you should go to one step or two step lower time frame and see what the trend is doing maybe you decide to go short or look for exit opportunity 
So let's see one step lower time frame. This is H1, and let's go to M15 time frame. This is the same graph as previous slide, but instead it's M15 time frame. You see the trend is going nicely upward. This is also the same entry position as we see in one hour time frame, but in contrary, you see the trend is going strongly downward. You see that's strongly downward, and we have to exit exit the trade rather than to go long. We can also use this arrow as trend line and exit the trade right here. As soon as this candle break out the support and closes below the trend line right here, and we put our stop loss 1 or 2 ATR above the swing high. So this is the proper way to trade Forex. Can leading indicator like RSI help you to trade Forex? Forex traders can also use leading indicator like RSI to spot where the price might go next before it happens. This indicator predicts price movement by using shorter time frame and provide early entry signal which allow traders to catch the initial move of the trend. Leading indicator like RSI react to price quickly which can be great for short-term forex trader, but you have to be aware of the false signal due to shorter time frame. In this graph, I install two RSI, namely RSI 10 as a fast RSI and RSI 22 as a slow RSI. So here, the fast RSI is below the slow RSI, that means the trend is going downward. Look at the price. The price is going downward all the way here, and after this big bearish candle, the price reverses and going upward. You see the same situation in, in RSI indicator, where the prices start going downward. Here we have a crossover that indicates these two they are in line, and here the price is going downward all the way here and from here the price reverses and look look at this this reverses this reversement is in line with price action after this bearish candle you see the price reverses and here you see the price reverses and then we have a crossover and here we have going upward so in order to find the exact location where we enter the trade, this is H1 time frame. We have to go to one step lower time frame, M15, because we are doing Forex. So we go to one step lower time frame in order to see where exactly we have to enter the trade. So let's go to M15 time frame. This is the same price trend and M15 time frame. And you see here, the price is going downward all the way and reverses here and going upward. Now, if you look at the indicator, RSI indicator, you see the RSI indicator going downward, entering the oversold area and reverses back and going upward. And we have a crossover here that we can enter the trade. This is the location that you can enter the trade. And this arrow shows that as soon as this big bullish candle passes the open price of this bearish candle, you can enter the trade and put your stop loss one or two ATR below the, below the low of this bearish candle. That's how you can use RSI indicator to trade Forex. The third thing that can affect the forex trading is the news release. Normally before the news, the trend may be in range, consolidation, or the market may be quiet. 
the volatility may be it at its lowest level. After the news release, the trend may sharply go up or sharply go down. Traders should wait and never enter the trade before the news release. They should wait for the trend settle down and come back to its normal functioning and then attempt to entry. This is a New Zealand USD currency pair. And here the trend that is the before the news and here that's the after the news. And here the, the New Zealand dollar is trading sharply lower. You see, sharply lower on Thursday after the report on of Russia and Ukraine conflict and shaken the financial market. At 6.30 Greenwich Mean Time, as you see, New Zealand USD currency pair is trading at 0 0.6728, down 0.043. So that is why I, all the time, I emphasize that do not attempt to enter the trade before the news release. So here you see the price before the news and here the price after the news, it come back to normal. Then you can attempt entry. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and wish all of you uh, good luck and good trade. That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.